course it's not working again. What is it with when I'm going live that the buttons refuse to work? I checked all these again last night after I got off stream, made sure they were working, and then I get on today and they stop working when I push live. What the hell? Anyway, hello everyone, Vasive here, welcome back. This is more Boyfriend Dungeon. I've been awake for a total of about three hours today. Uh, Kidney Stone is back and was kicking my ass earlier today. Uh, so I'm exhausted and uh, I feel a little bit better, but that could be just the meds are kicking in. But um, we might be finishing up this game tonight. So let's go ahead and dive right in and give it a check-see. A look-see? A doozy. Uh, okay, we have Sawyer, we have Isaac, we have... <gasps> I didn't remember having these two guys. Okay, um, well, we're gonna do Rowan first. Hey Rowan, you found the cat, you found Pocket! You find Rowan staring off in the distance as a cat creeps upon them. Curly seems nervous. Nothing more. Cat hunches down. Here's flat. Eyes fixed on Crowley, preparing to pounce. Pocket, stop. <laughs> Crowley makes a low caw, a bit like laughter. The last cat that tried to eat Crowley lost an eye, I believe. Oh boy. Pocket pauses, tail lashing. Pocket turns and walks away nonchalantly, as if entirely unconcerned. See, Crowley? See, er... Secretly, no need for violence. Words have power. I forgot the voice I gave Rowan. What about you, Big Papa? How will you handle the forces that hunt you? I'm being hunted? That was actually my first... <laughs> that, that was the question I was going to ask, and it's right there. Yes. Surely, at the very least, we're all haunted by death. Slowly, but surely. That's dark. Alice, my grandmother, was the strongest witch I'll probably ever meet. And even she wasn't enough. But I feel unprepared for how to care for other her, care for her effects. The physical things all clean up nicely, but what about her digital remains? Pretty bird. Digital remains. Hush. You mean like her internet browser history? Oh hush, Crowley. I know you put your pictures online for all to see. No shame. He does what now? He has too many follow ups, says it is Big Papa. Don't encourage him. Wait, he puts him up? Wait, he is a fucking raven. You're smart as hell. Now that you think about it, you realize you've seen Curly before and a few viral Ready videos. Bird? Alice was, an, was also active on the line. Or online? On a line? Online? In profiles and comments and so on. <laughs> 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 in the real world, our oils and tracks are worn away. Much of their spiritual energies fade on the pl on that plane. Mm. Is it the same for digital traces, or are they permanent? It depends on the website. <gasps> yeah, if it's online, it's there forever. Ah. Hmm. You know, the animal side of me wants her to marks to be permanent, but if she didn't fade, it would also make it harder to let her go, and she would want me to move on. She was a big believer in growth. Her weapon shape was even a garden trowel. Really? Sorry, you're probably tired of me talking about her. I just don't know how anyone else... I just don't have anyone else to talk to. <laughs> you upset your bird. You know what I mean? Someone who isn't also grieving. Someone more normal. But maybe my sense of normal is a bit skewed. Normal's boring. How often do you think about death, Big Papa? Just on my birthday? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, rituals are a fine time for re reflection. So it seems you have almost daily reason in the dunge. If one deals death as a profession, such as a wielder, it's irresponsible not to consider the consequences. But there are other, even more clarifying activities for growth. Love magic, for example. Love magic? I've done some calculations, and it seems we may have a compatible energy. You've done calculations. Oh, yeah. You want some blue? Shit. You were maxed out. Fuck! The perfect shade for winter solstice. I'll save it for then. Thank you. Um, Would you enjoy it? 
if our bodies were to meet. Uh, ritualistically, but also physically? Uh, what? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? Sorry, I can see I've startled you. Let me ask you, ask this a different way. Mm. Would you be interested in a kiss? We may or not explore sex later as you wish. Sure. Just romance, no sex. Yeah, sure. I'll take a kiss. Rowan seems startled, blinking with a sudden vulnerability. Yes. I'm glad my love magic calculations were correct. We'll grow so much together, I think. Pretty human. Thanks, Crowley. Crowley, please, have some decency. <laughs> Curly grumbles and flaps away. You lean into each other, feeling a soft, comfortable warmth spread from where your skin touches. Cool. Did he just cast a spell on me? You share a sunlit, quiet sunlight kiss. You think you feel Latin words whisper from their lips. I have 190 of 175. How does that work? Deadly momentum. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost that can set... Yes, please. Rowan spends a few moments just looking at your face. Thoughtful. Farewell. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, Big Papa. Blessed be. You head home. Later, Rowan. He got sunburnt, apparently. Let him get his his text out. Let's, uh, let's get seven out of the way here. You find Seven strumming a guitar on the beach. He's very focused and hasn't noticed you. He picks a few word, a few chords here and there, trying out a few melodies. What? Eventually he notices you and hey. startles. Hey, sheesh. Way to spoil your present. I was hoping to surprise uh... you. I wrote you a song. It's probably terrible, so it's okay if you don't like it. I kind of want to say that. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to give you something small. Nobody else has heard it yet. It's called Big Papa in Verona. <laughs> I'm more of a dancer than a singer, though. So, there's no lyrics. Just my feelings, okay? That sounds great. Seven plays guitar, carefully avoiding looking at you as he plays. I'll watch him. You can see the concentration is on neck, focusing completely on playing for you. You spend a peaceful moment together, joined by the music. Hey! Whoa, it's tight type now. Hey! A voice yells over the beach, interrupting your moment as the sun sets. You, How long have you been playing? Uh. Hello. How dare you, Big Papa? I trusted you. I fed cats with you. You, you Yoko. Excuse me? Uh uh. Don't give me that. I know what you did. What? Uh, uh lady, I don't know what you're talking about. You have to calm uh. down. He broke up with the Blade. He broke up Blade Generation, the best band ever. The fan club knows everything. Her lower lip trembles and her eyes fill with tears. It's all the fault of the evil, evil Big Papa and his sexy wiles. What? What? You know we're just friends, right? That's not the point. Big Papa has destroyed my favorite thing in the world. Ugh. Are you getting more and more buttons? I don't remember the little earth one. Hold on now. I think Sung Woo and I can't make... You think Sung Woo and I can't make our own decisions? That's insulting. Uh-uh. You poor sweet boys. No mortal deserves you, especially that one. Rude. Olivia points at you accusingly. Just follow Lucky Seven and Sin. Get a new hobby. Want me to break that finger? <laughs> Just follow Lucky Seven yeah. and Sin. <clears throat> yeah, we've got your fave, Sung Woo. What's the big deal? But, but Sung Woo's gone back to Korea and... And I just... I thought I could be the one. Uh... Love doesn't always work out the way we think it will. Big Pop is my best friend. Nothing you can say can change that. I believe his eyes leak and she starts making choking sounds. But you're still young. Lots of time left to make your mark. I cast love you. Yeah, it's not my fault that you're screaming at me. You could be a backup dancer. Sorry? I believe he spits in the sand here. I didn't change my headset. I thought I did last stream. You can be mad at me all you want. I didn't do anything. Rude. Coming in, screaming at me like that. Uh, you are not forgiven. I'm just gonna go. Later. All right, see ya. Take care. Olivia trudges off north through the sand. Uh, north? Where did I get north? 
Olivia charges off through the sand, eyes on the horizon. You both watch her go, wishing the best for her. You blush to realize Seven's staring into your eyes. Huh. I guess the world is finding out about Blade Generation and about us. I feel so lucky I have your support in the adventures to come. Nothing like a best friend behind you to make you feel strong. Hell yeah, dude. When I met you, I was in a deep depression, consumed with envy and bitterness. Now, I have so much to look forward to. I have so much energy. It feels like a dream. One where you stepped in and made everything better. Hmm. But you'll have to put up with my fans. Olivia won't be the only one who's upset. Are you okay? Let's put in time. Hey! We unlocked the last one. What the hell was that? That was an Xbox noise. Oh, I suppose I'm playing on Game Pass. What the fuck? What the fuck? Does Xbox have its own background process making doink noises? I see nothing. No idea where that came from. Um, chain lightning damage is higher when you're low on health. Oh. Chain lightning affects two extra enemies. Woo! That sounds fun. <laughs> Seven smiles at you, fingers wandering over the guitar. It's getting chilly. I didn't bring a jacket. Let's go home. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> you head home together and watch some shows comfortably together on the couch. Seven tries to act casual, and his tone is flippant, but you feel electric heat radiating from him. I feel drawn to you, but I don't want to do anything, then... But if you don't want to do anything, then that's cool. What do you mean? Ah! That's just snuggle. Okay, okay. I need a moment to cool off. Let's... Just watch another episode. You feel his breathing deepen as he calms himself and you enjoy a cozy night together. When he leaves in the morning, his guitar stays behind, tucked under your bed. You have reached max love level with seven. Da -da -da -da. All right. Let's read Rowan's messages. I got a bit sunburned, but I'm glad I saw... Ah! Glad I saw you. And had the baby to ask you. I'll be thinking of that kiss for some time. For now, the dungeon awaits us. Urgent, have you seen Crowley? Only with you. He flew off. He's gone, really gone. No! I don't know what to do. I'll be right there. We can't lose Crowley. Hey. What's up? I'll come get my guitar sometime. I figure no rush, right? We gotta hang out anyway. As much as possible before you go home. Times go by so quickly. See you soon, I hope. Um, oh yeah, I was going to change. That one was kind of a bummer. Let's try the Zeus one. Then we'll try the, the spooky one. And afterwards, I'm going to switch back to the bug one, because that one was silly fun. Alright, Sawyer. Why did you want me to come to your college again? I don't remember what's going on here. Who are you? You arrive at the classroom to find Sawyer being scolded by their history professor. Mm. Sorry, I apologize. You simply cannot survive in this world if you've always, if you're always forgiven for every mistake. I know, I'm really sorry. But I'll make it up to you. The professor raises his eyebrow as he notices you. Are you here for the next class? We're almost done. Oh, he's with me. As a friend, I ask for support. Support? Ah, uh, am I so very intimidating, even to someone as sharp as yourself? Professor, please, if you let me retake the test, I'll show you. I know the material. Did you cheat again? What happened? I was a few seconds late, turning in my final, and, and 
He gave me zero out of a hundred. What the fuck? Uh, Professor, please, I'm begging you. I really need this credit. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in your groveling. It's the policy. You knew the rules. I'm just being fair to the other students. Uh -huh. Seconds? If I fail this course, everything is ruined. I can't afford to take it again. They've learned their lesson. Have they, though? Or have they learned that they just need to cry a little bit to get their way? The professor looks at Sawyer th thoughtfully. Let's Sawyer answer. Sawyer takes a deep breath. I understand that you have to punish me. I know my choices have consequences, but I worked really hard. I worked really hard the rest of the semester. Please, take that into consideration. Oh, very well. I only docked 20% off your grade. Now off with you both. So he murmurs a quick thank you and they leave the classroom in a hurry. You can't fight all their battles with them, you know. Some things they have to face on their own. Yeah, but sometimes they need a little support to learn how to do that first. You follow Sawyer out and you walk in silence together for a few minutes. You find yourselves by the beach. Sawyer looks out over the ocean thoughtfully. I was just here. Twice. It actually, I was here with thunder. I almost totally tanked my semester there just by not paying attention for a few minutes. It's scary how quickly things can change. Like when you cook something at a heat that's too high. Thanks for trying to help. Your support means a lot. I just wish education only measured my learning and cared less about rules and conforming. I 100% agree. <laughs> you get me. But I guess the world cares about power more than facts and knowledge, huh? It makes sense. No matter how hard you try, someone with power over you can take everything away. Hmm. Not everything. Yeah. Nobody can stop us, right? Love is something they can't take away. Sorry leans into you for a long hug. They wipe their eyes. Come on, Chef. Semester's over. Summer's coming to an end. It's just me and you. Let's celebrate. I'm hungry. What do you say we grill up something on the beach? Barbecue. You handle the fire part, and I'll get some ingredients. What do you want? My treat. Uh, whatever. Yep. Oh my god. Grilled eggs and blueberries. The Sawyer special. Coming right up. <sighs> Sawyer really likes blueberries, huh? We spend the evening grilling and chatting, watching the sunset. You know, Big Papa, I wouldn't have survived this semester without you. Financially, academically, or nutritionally. I don't know about what you're planning on, but after the summer, but even if you leave her own, we should always love you. Aww. Uh, see? I'm getting a, like a, an achievement notification for the first time in, in this game playing at all by the way but it doesn't pop up anywhere throw, throw also stuns enemies so they can attack throw does damage again on the return I thought I already did that that sounds fun I learned so much from you from you this summer I'm, I am a stronger more resilient person now because of you but I've been wanting to ask why did why do I oil the pan for potatoes but not bacon bacon makes its own oil we discuss cooking techniques, but somehow it leads to a long, sandy kiss. Bye. Sand got in our mouths? Gross. Eventually, you both rearrange your clothes and go home. You have reached maximum love rank with Glaive. Why doesn't that say Sawyer? That sounds like a bug. Like they didn't have Sawyer's name into the game yet. Because it said seven. I guess that's his alias. It, it said Sunder. I remember, right? I'll let the message just come through. All right, we got Isaac. I still don't know where uh, Pocket or uh, Valeria are. Oh! Rowan's up there. Let's go... Uh, Hit up Isaac. He's level five. You find Isaac alone in the sanctuary. I just wanted to help people. 
I thought I could work within the system to help people and impress my father. Some part of me thought being a good sword would impress him too. Even one kind word would have helped so much. But you helped me see how much I depend on Vincent emotionally. Ooh. Enemies hit by repost have a chance to bleed. Enemies hit by repost have a chance to become frightened. Bleed. And how much I didn't need to. Although I don't really do. I could become repost. more independent and be myself. Repost, repost. I've heard it pronounced different ways. I adore you. As you As wield you oh. my blade, I, I fell in love. We haven't known each other for very long, but you're already an important part of my life. I guess I trust your opinion more than anyone else's at this point. I mean, I've tried beating investors at their own game. That doesn't work, so what's the best way to use my time and money I have left to help fix it income inequality? Uh... All of these. Educate the masses. True. Verona U is an up-and-coming institution. Maybe their journalism department needs a boost. Speaking of things that drain your finances, I know this is a little sudden and don't read too much into it, but... Do you think you'll ever want a kid? Be a father to someone? Uh... At my age? Probably not. That's what I thought. But now this whole thing with Vincent has me thinking. Parents have such power over their children. It's terrifying. But such a gift. I didn't want any either, I thought. I worried I'd, I'd be as cruel as Vincent. The fact that you're actually actively acknowledging that probably means that you wouldn't be. I suppose we'll discuss it in the years to come if it works out, if things work out. Either way, I'm glad we've, we'll have each other for support. This summer has been so chaotic. I've been a, you've been a comforting constant. I rock. Never change. He leans in you with a smile on his lips. You share a soft kiss. You can sense an urgency tensing his shoulders and hips. Let's go somewhere more private, shall we? Sure. Isaac leads you home to his penthouse suite. I'll open a bottle of Bordeaux, and I bought some Belgian chocolate you might like. Ooh. Do you? Mind I have one of those plants. A bit more comfortable. I have a bathrobe you could borrow. Let's cuddle. Absolutely. Bathrobes are perfect. Are we just gonna hang out in bathrobes? Do people do that? I've never done that. I don't have a bathrobe. You enjoy a quiet evening together. In the morning, he awakens you with a gentle kiss from your temple down your jaw to your shoulder. Good morning, and welcome to the rest of our lives. Wait. I didn't agree to anything. Well, assuming we can survive whatever is going on with Eric. I'm making eggs, if you'd like some. I'm making a scramble if you want some. Breakfast! I'm so tired, though. I hate waking up. In. Your eggs will be ready when you want them. Thanks, dude. Oh, that's ideal. Let me sleep in. You share a cozy morning before heading home. You reach maximum level. See, that one said Isaac. I think they just didn't have the name for Sawyer. Yet. Look at us getting all the maximum levels here. Sawyer. Hope you're having a good day, Chef. You too. It's sad my favorite fencing student is leaving Verona Beach soon. Of course, you're the more you're more than just a student to me, but I'll still miss our lessons. Me too. They say distance make the heart grow fonder. I prefer less painful methods personally. Good thing I have some healing potions left over. I'm glad we still have some time together before you go, even if that katana creature is on the loose. Oh, thought you said something. If you put an effort you, to have a good day every day, then after you leave Verona Beach, you'll remember it as a happy place. One where your love Sawyer, when your love Sawyer is waiting for you patiently and come back soon. Deal? Deal. Good. Oh, wait. That's all we can do. I still haven't gotten tried that weapon yet. Uh, let's go check out, check out Rowan. Only rank three. We might have Good to do day. some dungeons with him. You find Rowan pacing back and forth to Shrek. Wait. Was it a demon, perhaps? Or a vengeful spirit? 
This has never happened before. Maybe I drove him away. I have been difficult lately. Uh. I've looked everywhere. I set out his favorite snacks. It's been two days and no sign. Take a deep breath. Shit. I knew I should have said the other one. I'm trying, believe me. But what if he's actually really gone? I just lost Alice. I can't stand to lose him. It'd be more efficient to split up and look. But I don't want to be alone right now. I don't want to be alone ever, really. That's why I got a familiar in the first place. Where should we start? Uh... The mountain? Yes. Yeah, then we'll have a good view of the town, and our voices may carry further, too. We've no time to waste. We check out the mountainside, calling for Crowley. Crowley! Only the breeze blows. Only the breeze blows in response. Rowan grits her teeth, clearly getting gathering resolve. If he really is dead, then I hope it was swift and painless. Don't think about that yet. Facts. Denial won't change reality. I know. I must know the truth. Let's just keep looking. Maybe the beach. He likes this. Uh, he likes the uh, seagulls. They reach for your hand as if to hold, as if to hold it on the way to the beach. They return your embrace gratefully, giving you a peck on the cheek. You walk together hand in hand across the town to the beach as the sun sets. Crowley! There's no sign of the raven. The seagulls play in the winds over the ocean. Crowley, you idiot. Where are you? When I first bound Crowley to me as my familiar, he was just a fluffy little chick. I knew I'd probably outlive him, but I thought I'd have more, cha more time. It's only been six years. Can you magically summon him? Okay, give up yet. I'm not... I'm just not sure what else to do. Never mind. Anyway, I tried, but he's gone. Either on another plane or doesn't want to answer. Everyone wipes at their eyes, clearing their throat as dust gives way to the night. Hey. A woman approaches him down the beach, looking worried. Hey. What are you doing here, Mandy? Hey, Big Papa. Rowan. Everything okay between you? You both? I heard something, someone shouting. Everything's under control, Mandy. Big Papa is just helping me look for Crowley. You know Amanda? Or Mandy? Oh. The familiar's gone missing? That doesn't sound like him. I know. He's been acting strange for a few days now. Sorry. I haven't seen or heard anything. I'll let you know if I do. Rowan's a vampire too? <laughs> Your bird watcher? Mm-hmm. Of a sort. I'll ask around at the club. See you both later, I hope. She trucks off down the beach thoughtfully. Rowan releases a long breath as a sigh. Let's just take a break and regroup at home. He will help us think. Good idea. Rowan nods, scanning the skies one last time before turning homeward. We walk back to the mansion together in an awkward silence. Rowan closes the door behind you and hesitates. Ralph furrowed. Mm -hmm. Do you smell that? It's like tea is brewing already. Holy shit, what a smart bird. Nevermore. Crowley! What in the name of all the goddesses are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Raven looks away, coughing. Nevermore. Crowley flutters up on Rowan's shoulder and starts softly preening their hair. Well, once was enough. I'm not forgiving you that easily. I was very upset. Rowan turns to you. They still seem emotional, but you notice their shoulders are more relaxed than before. Thanks for all the help today, Big Papa. Without you, it wouldn't... It would have truly been a nightmare. Uh... Here, make him bigger. I need to postpone our tea. I need to give this irresponsible bird a thorough thrashing. I could wield you. Don't hurt him. I don't think he would actually hurt him. Don't hurt him. <laughs> I promise I won't. I'm just a bit angry still. And I think that's responsible under the circumstances. Rowan gives you a slight smile. First you've seen him manage all day. Oh, Rowan. For some reason my brain replaced Rowan with uh, Crowley and I was like, how does a crow smile? Rowan touches the fingertips to their lips and then the air in farewell. You head home. Alright. I 
think we just go dungeoning now. Because that's the last thing I can do, right? Boom. 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 Oh, I still have Pocket. And Valeria. Alright, let's, uh... Let's knock out Ruins. Because I just have Lipstick and a Love Letter, right? So lipstick will go to Rowan. Forward. Let us be the chariot together. Also, I wonder if why I get so itchy down here. Is because I have I haven't shaved this bit off and it's just like tickling my nose or something. I have no idea. Oh right. I forgot you things are bad guys. I took so much damage. Oh. It's an AoE around me. Okay. Ow, oh, fuck. Okay. Doing fantastic. Yeah, here. All right, you kind of want to heal. Three chests right here? Nice. I don't even need to pick up this stuff, right? I can't make anything anymore. Oh, big old gold bar. Also, I don't know how long I'll play because I can already feel. My back starting to hurt from the kitty stone. Uh, it's very uncomfortable. Next level. Did I hear a mama's? I heard jingling. Get out of here. All right, so the the Thor one isn't the coolest, but I'll play with it for a bit. What the hell was in there? There was nothing in there. It was a troll chest. What the hell? Oh, that just spawns one immediately? That's huge. So I can set these up ahead of time. Maybe that's what a strat is with this weapon. Uh... There's nothing I need to buy. Wait, I buy the camera from here, right? We'll go buy the camera again. Oh god, that was a lot of things. Woo! Oh, that was cool. We'll just play with that move for a while. Yeah, get dead. Ah! Yeah, walk into that. My doom area. That's awesome. Yeah, you could totally just set up a doom area. Kind of neat. We have, to, we have to come back down here anyway, so... Hey, we'll take a rest. Ah, oh, yes, spirits. Did I ever tell you about the time I met Jack... Oh, yeah, we've mm. done this. Name dropping? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to brag. I just thought you might find it interesting. Name is powerful in the emotional realm. People like Mike to Daniel? Th yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, want some? I suppose a bit couldn't hurt. Even down here, we'll just have to be careful after. You both sip at shots from a fancy-looking bottle. Rowan sputters. <sighs> I think it's... I'll stick to tea for a while, but thank you. There you go. Nice. Red is blood binding or binding our destinies together. I love it. Thank you. Enough of this. Heck yeah. All right, let's go down the little thingy. Nice. I don't know why I'm collecting all this stuff. I don't need any of it. My brain, my loot goblin brain says I need it all. All right, let's buy a... Any chance I get the camera? Oh, is it not? 
you I can play the camera from? Oh, shit. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Is it the first one? That I only can buy the camera from? That's a bummer. Oh, hell yeah. All right, change weapon. Fuck it. Let's mess some things up. <laughs> like, I need that one coin. Dude, the range. I should read Rowan's thing. He was messaging me earlier. Oh, I'm reading. It seems Crowley was just a little jealous of you, maybe insecure too. He's not really used to me having friends or potential lovers, lovers for that matter. On the plus side, he's bonded with good old Roosevelt. I'm sorry for all the fuss. Crowley is sorry too. No problem. Oh, music's so good. The lasers mean... Okay, they, they do. They mean business and they did damage. Ouch. I just healed that. Rude. Rude. Pocket eyes the heart balloon suspiciously. They symbolize love. They're fun to hunt. You bat out a balloon, it flies away. Weightless. Pocket widens his eyes, impressed. He rubs his head hesitantly against your shin. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have anything for you. You reach down to pet him, but he quickly transformed, dodging your affection. Don't I get, like, bonus experience and stuff now? Is that it? Hawk takes a few tentative sniffs of the warm, summery night air. No, oh, I meant to say no. He yawns and stretches luxuriously. The envy of yoga... Oh, yeah, we read this one. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's the, the shopkeep dude. No, I don't need that. Thanks. Yo, 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 Everyone's playing stray now and I'm over here playing with fisticuff cat. All right, I'm actually going to die if I keep playing like this. There you go. Life juice. We love that life juice. You can hear the jump move. And the round you can hear. <laughs> love that. That hit me? He was dead. The speed run. <laughs> Weapon. Just jumping around. Cat mode. I almost have a thousand dollars. Hey, we did it. Alright, change weapon. Alright, Valeria. What's your deal? We haven't seen you in forever. To be honest, I don't remember how she works. I do know I need to do some dodgings. We just played his pocket. Oh, oh! I thought the the hanging thing was an enemy. I was very confused for a second. Can't hit me when I'm dashing around. Oh, that's a bad guy. Just scratching my nose. Let's play some pool. Oh, this brings oh. Oh, this brings back memories. I did a pool cue once, but it didn't work out. She was a little too on the straight and narrow for me. She taught me a lot about playing pool, though. My favorite variant is one pocket. Want to try? 
You hit the balls around, targeting a specific huh? pocket. Valeria knows what she's doing, but takes it easy on you. Sometimes it looks like she wants you to say something. Advice to share? Yeah. I told myself I wouldn't overstep, but I can't help it. Here, follow my example. Larry adjusts your stance and repositions your fingers on the cue. Her hands soft on yours. She lets you go with a smile. You play a bit more and your aim seems to have improved. That's better. Um, hey, you want a love letter? It's my last thing. Ah, oh, so close. I never knew you were a writer. Such truth and beauty in these words. Thank you. I hope you can wield me with this. Oh, wait. I hope you can wield me with the same precision as that cue. You got it. Sweet. We're out of items. Let's see if we have a way. We only can level up through dungeons now. Blam! 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 I'm throwing it up. It's Thor season. Oh, I only have three. Right. So that's the thing I have to change when we switch back to bug mode. Of all designs. But then I don't do crazy damage. Hey! We're fully leveled, right? 270, yep. These guys are maxed. 240. Okay, we're good. So now, can I leave? I can't leave. Monster-free zone, we just entered. There's monsters everywhere. Wanna relax? You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Ugh. Yeah, we've done this before. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay. So now I'm just going to be looking for the exit. Nah. I don't need anything from you. Excuse me. Stab, 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 stab. Oh. Oh, yeah. I should be doing the dodge thing to do more damage. That, that trash can was moving. Was that a bug or was that a mimic? That'd be funny. I'm choosing to believe it was a mimic, even though I know it wasn't. Shiny? Glue's not shiny, Valeria. Oh, I can still- I can keep leveling him. Oh, I am getting double damage. That's huge. I should probably switch to Ruin. Ah, oh, never mind. We can leave. Sweet. Oh, crap. There was talking. You see Crowley pecking at the window with a scrap of paper clutched in his talons. Uh, open the window. Crowley hops inside and performs a small bow before presenting you with a note. The note reads, Dear Big Papa, I invite you to join me in meditation at St. Drogo's. At the bottom, there's roughly scratched sorry. Crowley clicks his beak, watching you curiously. Give him a tip. Here you go. Bye. Crowley's feather bristle and he shakes his head. He then hops off the window and flies out of sight. You put the note away. Okay. Interesting. That's new. That's new. We're gonna switch to. Uh, I'm really gonna. I'm, I know I'm gonna hate that one straight up, so I'm just not gonna even bother. Where's the thing that I get multiple things? Oh wait, it's a hat. Cowboy hat. It must be working because I'm lucky. <laughs> Bowler hat. Oh. Oh, God, that's awful. All right, I need to change my outfit then. Ah. <laughs> oh, God, it looks awful. Here, there we go. 
Nailed it. Now we'll go back. All right, what do you want? Have you seen Pocket? He hasn't been here in a few days. He'll be okay. He's not here. Oh, shit. You feel something else at the door. The best way to describe it is the presence. Open the door. Hello. You open the door to find the one-eyed street cat, Astarta, staring at you. She flicks her tail and walks away, looking back to see if you're following. You follow the cat at a safe distance. She leads you through the streets, her paws, paws making no sound on the concrete. You wonder what the city. You wonder that the city seems oddly empty for such a beautiful empty, ending or evening. That's the word. She turns to you. She turns and you seem to have lost her in the alley's shadows. Where did she go? Here, kitty, kitty. A rumble of thunder shakes the sky, but there are no clouds. Your eyes adjust and you see green and yellow eyes blink at you from all sides. After a moment, you realize it's not not thunder. It's purring. Hundreds of cats surround you, watching intently, ready to pounce. Holy shit! As if by one mind, they all rise and flow past you, and you are swept along with them. Wait, what? You find yourself back at the park, at a hole in the hedge you've never seen before. The cats flow into the hole in the hedge. You think you see a starter's tail flick as he ducks inside, too. The park looks the same, yet somehow larger. Or have you grown smaller? I have to wake up. That's my thought. Am I a cat now? You decide this is far too dreamlike for comfort. Probably wake up. Try to fly. You will, you will yourself to fly. Instead, you jump out what feels about 30 feet, but land gracefully. The whole scene glows ominously. You step forward, enjoying the cool of the earth against the pads of your paws. I'm a fucking cat. Peace washes over you in this place, smelling of herbs and summer afternoons. In the way of dreams, Pocket and a star look at you, and you understand what's happened. You sense Pocket has been fighting for you, literally clawing to get... You accepted here as a brother cat. What? Eventually, it started accepted you as part of the extended feline family in a place beyond fighting. Before you know it, your fur is combed by a comforting tongue. A rumbling purr shakes your ribcage. I'm a cat now? After you're hurt, get a speed boost. After you hurt, the next attack will do more damage. Yeah. You look in his eyes and feel deep, abiding, familial love as he grooms you like a brother. But I'm not a cat! You resist the urge to meow. Pocket licks your forehead in affection. You sense Pocket is not his true name, but you are beyond names here. He's grateful that you believed in him and he's given you his deepest trust. You fall asleep in a long sunbeam longer than a lifetime of afternoons. You wake up warm and refreshed, but with heavy weight on your chest. After a moment of dis disorientation, you inspect your paws. Hands. Their hands again. Is Pocket sleeping on me? Fully awake, you see Pocket is asleep on top of you. Nose is your neck. Eventually, Pocket gets up and stretches, watching you curiously. Am I a werecat now? You focus and concentrate, trying to transform into a cat. It was just a dream. <laughs> Nothing happens. Pocket pauses and then begins washing his paw. Maybe he's hiding a smile. He looks, com he looks comfortable in your apartment. It occurs to you that you've never seen him quite so at ease. After a moment, Pocket jumps with a chirp, a chirp and slips through your open window. You watch him pick his way along the rooftops. He looks back at you, tail curled. <laughs> slow blink. Cat's like slow blinks. Wave! Pocket hesitates only a moment, blinking slowly before he slinks away into the cityscape. You have reached maximum level of Pocket. Nice. People say that pat slow blink means they're saying they love you. I don't know where the, the science or the reasoning behind that is, but that's what they say. Hey, is everything okay? Pocket was gone on all night. Yeah, he was with me. Good, if you... This person is just super trusting. Cats are more like roommates than pets, you know? Roommates with fuzzy tummies. Gotta give him freedom. Oh, well, I'm glad he has you for a friend. Thanks. All right, Valeria. Oh, you a drink for the other night, and I miss hanging out just as like humans. Daggering's fun, but not as fun as your lips. Come to my studio? Sure. 
I'm there now. Okay. Um. Oh, I need to switch. Oh, I did, I did switch to bugs. All right. So we're done with pocket. I guess we'll go to uh, Rowan because he's level four. You find Rowan standing quietly to the side, unmoving. Good day. Hey, Papa, you came. Apologies for sending Quilly, but I'm tired of my prism. It makes me anxious. Your, your prism? That's why I'm here. Though I wasn't sure if you practiced meditation. I don't really. This place is suited to it. The ley lines, the incense, the acoustics all contributed to a peace of mind. I was hoping it would grant me more freedom from, from my darker thoughts. No luck yet. It's been some time since Alice passed on and I still can't seem to let her go. Everything reminds me of her, even places I've never been. I feel her everywhere. She'd want me to move on, but I just can't. Curly gently preens Rowan's hair with his beak, Rowan sighs. Having lost someone close to you, Big Papa, you seem so energetic. energetic. I have. <laughs> Rowan smiles ever so slightly, a hint of self-mockery in their eyes. Of course, it's nothing unusual. And here I was in the depths of self-pity. It gives me strength to see how you bear your burden. You make it look so easy, and I know it isn't. Yeah! Fatal little attraction. When enemies dies in a gravity well, you automatically get three stacks of the boost. Sick! Leveling up Rowan quick. They gaze at the statues of saints and angels thoughtfully. I read that in the modern courtship rituals, people swipe right when they don't like someone. It seems dangerous. You can never sever an artery that way. I'm glad I haven't been rejected so forcefully. Right means you do like them. Does it? I don't fucking know. Wrong kind of swipe. Hmm. <laughs> I just said don't worry about it. Uh, whichever kind of swipe, I'm glad to have avoided modern love attacks. Hermitude has its advantages. I come here to remind myself why solitude is healthy. St. Drogo is the patron saint of the unattractive. I find his self-imposed seclusion comforting. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything. Yep. What's up, Rooster? Welcome to the stream. You don't like the crow? He's awesome. I love Crowley. I made a show about love magic before, but who knows if that compatibility would even be constructive. It's possibly best. It's probably best that Crowley and I remain on our own. Devoted to study. It'd be a good life well spent. Will you be happy? No, but not everyone can be, right? I mean, I can't just go around kissing you all day. I have to get work done, right? <laughs> they clear his throat, looking away, and Crowley chuckles. Aw, oh, we'll hold our hands. Looks like a, a limbed penis. What kind of penises are you looking at, dude? Why are you looking at old man penises? I think this is more a reflection on you than the game. Just saying. I mean, I just want to appreciate you and your time spent with me while I have it. Let's... Let's stop talking about embarrassing things and just meditate for a little while longer. Together. Can you show me? They whisper soft instructions to focus your attention on your breath and drift away from thought patterns. With your eyes closed, you feel your breath lengthen and your body relax into a deeper awareness. Whoa. Your clothes change. In that moment of peace, you feel Rowan's presence beside you more strongly than ever. What the hell is on your face? Why is your bird blushing? Eventually, you open your eyes and share a smile with Rowan. You like I'm saggy and draggy? So, um... I was in uh, Manface G's chat the other day, and I don't remember how it came up. Oh, he, they were talking about balls and hanging balls and whatever. They're being chaotic, and uh, I immediately thought about your stupid Do Your Balls Hang Low uh, song, so I did one of the verses. It was a great time. I did part of one of the verses, because it was the only, the only part I remember, because it just kills me every time. Eventually, open your eyes and share a smile with Rowan. Uh, thank you for that, Big Papa. I think, I think Alice would be honored by our time here. Farewell. I hope we can do it again sometime. Later, Rowan. Do I ever get any other games? Nope.
guess the prism is easier for chatting than Raven notes. What the hell is a prism? So what kind of tea are you drinking today? Bubble tea. Thought about doing black, but or uh, green tea, but bubble tea is what I've been using for health. It seems this is not. Oh, it seems this is not as fascinating topic. Perhaps as I first thought. Let's just fight monsters as if I didn't waste your time. Thank you. He's trying to make small talk. That's adorable. Yeah. Yeah, that song. But no, it was a... Can you wrap them around the, your body when you're sitting on the potty? <laughs> that one kills me. It's probably because you do your stupid little, like... You sit down dance. And it just fucking just goes together so well. Jake's in the, at the studio talking to Valeria when you arrive. Hey, Big Papa. Valeria gives your hand a squeeze and doesn't look away from your eyes when she, when she says, Say hi to Jake. Uh, say hi to Jake. Huh. What's up, Jake? Or, or say hi, Jake. Did she say that? An ass. Hi, Jake. Larry glares at him until he drops his gaze. I thought we were going to try and be friends with each other. I saved both of you at the museum job, didn't I? Should count for something, especially since I wasn't invited. Ugh. And this guy scumbag that was my decision jake you must have expected it with the way you've been acting i'm a rose of venus valentine you should have to told you should have told me about it there's a moment between them you feel almost feel like you're intruding <sighs> you're right i should have said something i just wanted to show big papa what we do so it turned into a disaster you were cops next time it was a one-time experience i had a great night you were cops <laughs> next time there you go Fewer cops next time is actually your, our motto. Well, it is, and it should be. Jake shoves his hand in his pocket and clears his throat to catch your attention. <sighs> I have something to tell you, both of you. I spoke to Jess, my sister, and she wants you back, Val. What? I'm not going to say anything on that. Jake eyes you curiously as if expecting you to interject before continuing. This is her business, dude. Not as what we were before. As partners, she wants us to be the Roses of Venus again. You, me, and Jess, and him too. It takes a moment before you realize he's gesturing at you. You look at Valeria and she looks as shocked as you feel. What? Oh wait, what? You're important to Val. You can't keep a secret. What kind of- Dude, that looks like the evilest- That's a grin of someone that wants to eat my skin. That, that guy, looks like he's gonna- wants to eat my skin. Right up on a barbecue. Jake grins as sharp as a knife grin and cocks an eyebrow. Yeah. So what do you say? Want to join the Roses of Venus? Hell yeah, dude. A look of relief passes over Jake's face and he gives you a genuine grin. <laughs> you won't regret it. We're going to be amazing together. Um, don't let Jess, or don't let Jess get carried away. We're staying at Verona Beach for now. I have a life here. Tell her mm -hmm. that. Tell her I'm happy and tell her I'm in love. Jake looks between the two of you. And he shakes his head. I'll tell her. Take care of yourself, Valentine. He turns and gives you a gruff nod. And you too. The bell above the door rings as Jake departs, leaving just you and Valeria in her studio. How does it feel, being a Rose of Venus? It's the big time, baby! <laughs> she smirks. Huh. Maybe it'll feel more normal when you have a paintbrush in your hand, although... You might have to wait a whole while to have another adventure. At least until the cops stop looking for our, in our direction. Larry looks towards the door where Jake was standing moments before. Jake and Jessica. The roses of Venus. All of that messed me up for a long time. Moving here. Painting. Making new friends. Falling in love again. It helped me heal. I'm glad. Her hands find yours, fingers intertwined as she leans into you. You share a kiss easily without thinking of a hesitation as you've already done so thousands uh, of times. She releases a little sigh into your lips as you feel her smile. I finally feel ready for something new. Hey, we level six, baby! Do damage in an area automatically at end of a roll. Rolling hurts nearby enemies. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. Valeria ducks behind the counter before you can answer and puts on, 
Oh, brush you brushes mind and paint. I sit and paint you just for a little while. Uh, that makes me feel awkward. Sure. Thanks. You sit for her, watching as the line between Valeria's eyebrows crinkle in concentration. <laughs> a warm silence is interspersed with laughter as she brings you to life on her Ciao. canvas. Eventually, you head home. You have reached maximum love level with Valeria. Look at us kicking ass. All right. We just have Rowan. Look at me knocking out all these people out of the park already. It's amazing. Where's Rowan? I'm going to go... Oh, he's almost fully leveled anyway. I was going to go in there. Strictly for the, uh, the camera, but if we're going to be finishing him off like right now... Wait, what level was he? Oh, that's fine. We'll start at five. Yeah, they all love me. I'm the I favorite. What class of demons occupy this house. Ah! That was a lot of laser beams. Get him, bugs! Get him, bugs! Get him, bugs! Bug army! Ha ha ha! Bug army. Ah! They're back. No! All my bugs died! Fuck off. That's not cool. What killed them? Oh, I got one back. Come on, buddy. Ow. Hey, you want to play some pool? We can play if you like. I'm not terrible. Teach me? As you wish. Pay close attention. This is ancient wisdom. The trajectories of pool walls can only be predicted by se for several seven collisions at most. Hmm. After that, the magnetic fields of audience members make their calculations impossible. <laughs> so there you have it. Just calculate the first collisions and don't worry about the rest. They take a small bow, indicating the lecture is complete. Thanks. <laughs> Not at all. It's the least I could do. Thanks for the diversion. The monster awaits us. I hope we are as merciless when it comes to the monsters. They hold their hilt out to an invitation. You feel an impulse? Oh yeah, I don't have any. I wish that would not show up anymore. I don't have any gifts. No, it's not the weapon um, that makes the bugs. It's uh, my spell. Um, and I and I the hat I'm wearing makes it so I can bring more. I can have more spell slots than health slots, so I can have a shit ton of bugs, and it's hilarious. I haven't found the max yet. I've had seven bugs out at once, and uh, it did make me giggle. Although, you can't pass through them, and it really fucking sucks when, like, they're in a tight hallway and you need to get around them and you can't. Oh, the skull things. That's my damage stacking. Okay, that's cool. Bug! Oh! My gravity field kills my bugs. That's dumb. Well, that's really upsetting. No wonder they keep disappearing. Hey, look, I'm leveled up already. <laughs> More bugs. Stop shooting me. More bugs. No! Fucking gravity well. All right. Gravity well is not good with the bugs. That's really upsetting. Man, I wanted to see how many bugs I could get. <sighs> Rowan breathes in deeply, enjoying the summer night air. They pause, looking at you softly. Hmm. Perhaps in it's moonlight, but you look especially powerful here and now. I've leveled up! You trying to flirt? That sounds like something I'd do. <sighs> they flinch from your jab, and their face hardens. I was merely making an observation. Never mind, it was foolish. <sighs> Sorry, man. If you're gonna date me, you gotta. This is how I am. I'm fucking annoying. They look away, dispassionately waiting for you to just to explore to resume. Sorry, man. I don't think we're compatible in the dating department. 
All right. Well, in order to keep the bugs out, I can't use the gravity balls. Oh, I do so little damage now. I suppose I could use them when... I don't have any bugs. Dang, this weapon would do a ton if I was wearing the Valkyrie helmet. Because of all the damage buffs that are stacked so you can get. That's dope. Come back here. I don't even need to be close to him. This is gross. Alright, I can summon two bugs. I can leave. Bummer. I wish the gravity well wouldn't kill my bugs. Almost important. <laughs> the well shift projectiles. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's cool. What do you got for me? Finally, I've done it. I've made contact with Alice. Or at least my deepest con concept of her. A ghost? Not exactly, sort of. But she was rather angry with me. I guess I can't blame her. I'd like to see you and explain our next phase. Want to take a walk with me? Up. I'm up on the mountain. Wait, what? What phase? Come, or if you want to come, if you want to know, or don't, if you don't, I'll be there. Here, okay. All right, Valeria, what do you got? We've been through some shit, huh? I'm pretty confident no ducks will ever come between us, <laughs> or I mean, other humans. They also won't. It's a nice feeling trusting again. Don't let me down. I won't let you down. I don't like either of these options. Even if you did, I wouldn't let you get away that easy. You might be leaving Verona Beach soon, but. I'm a traveler too. I'll find you. Don't go without saying goodbye, okay? Let me know if you want to pop back in the dungeon sometime. Sure thing. Alright. Uh, he's at the mountain. So do we go to his house? Oh, actual mountain. Okay. Good day. Hey, I saw you wearing that in our meditation thing. Rowan is looking out over Verona Beach in unusual attire. Is there a dress code? Laundry day? <laughs> I would say the dress code. Is there a dress code? Mm, no. No, you're fine. I'm trying to reach beyond the veil. Symbols and metaphors are powerful. I thought maybe wearing our traditional family robes might help. Maybe it did. Either way, I found Alice in my heart and she really lashed me. Called me a coward and a weakling. When it comes to how I treat you, she said she was disappointed in me. She expected better. How do you feel? Uh, I'm not sure. What she said was I've true. I've been leaning on you and on Crowley too much. It's been unbalanced. I love you. <gasps> You've shown me so much patience and generosity of spirit. Hey, dude, we knocked him out of the park. Healing no momentum stacked up to five times. Amazing. And yet I've taken advantage of your kindness. I'm sorry for that. It's not right. I always call you in a crisis. To help me with grief or with Crowley or with everything. It's like I've treated you almost as a tool. A medicine. Or a playmate. You deserve better. What kind of playmate? You've helped me grow it as a And as a person. Sharpening me. I want to do the same for you. Don't sharpen me. You've been struggling. That's not an excuse. You're struggling too. We're all struggling. That's the deal. So from now on, I want to be equally giving. To meet you halfway. That's nice. Ever since I first met you, I loved letting you be in control. But I should contribute too. I want us to be together for a long time, so we have to be equals in all things. As partners. Uh, I kind of agree, but we each have strengths. I agree. 
I knew I should have done the each have strengths one. I can already feel Alice approving. We're on the right track. But if I backslide, I hope you can call me on it. Habits can take time to break. Did the music just get louder? It really feels like it did. I promise. Rowan releases an exult exhalation. An exhalation of relief. Thank you. Probably mutters something softly into Rowan's ear. Rowan nods. <laughs> Burden understands how to whisper? That's amazing. And Crowley got you these. His friends will be quite jealous. He gave me three glass. Is that because I gave him the dollar? They hand you a handful of small round beads of glass. Pretty human. So, what's new with you? Any in interesting people you've met? Monsters you've destroyed? You walk down the mountain. Oh. Generous bestowal. Fidel! You beautiful bead. Thank you so much for the hundred birdies. Yeah, you want them cookie. Hey, There's the Videl's laugh. Did you guys hear it? It's beautiful. Yes, we're getting all the boyfriends. How are you doing? Have you played this game? This game feels like a game you would love. Oh, and following up with the butt flexes. You walk down the mountain as the sun sets, filling them in one recent events. Filling them in on recent events and chatting. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 14, 15. Guys, I can't play a narrative game if I'm counting Netflix. Netflixes? Butt flexes. It doesn't work. Netflixes? What is my brain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Also, I woke up really tired today. My legs didn't work. This is rude. Oh my god. We've done 2,300 butt flexes so far. One, two, three, four, five. My ass is getting tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ugh. So tiring. How you doing, Videl? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you. Hey, Videl, do you like this guy's crow? I think I like him. He's cool. Hey, I have you a cup of Margaret's Hope Darjeeling tea. I like his little ocean thing on his belt. We're just making them stronger, starting with the butt. <laughs> it's a family treasure, but I'd like to share it with you and give you a full tour of our estate. What's he doing? The anime thing? You could spend the night if you wanted to. I'd like that, sure. Rowan leads you inside, and you spend a quiet evening together. At some point, Crowley retires to his cage. What's with the symbols above his face? You notice their bed is encircled by a line of salt, but you forget. Oh, I was confused. I thought he was talking about Crowley. You notice their bed is encircled by a line of salt, but you forget as their lips and blade explore your body. Please don't. I'm not into this horror play. They trace ruins on your skin, making your blood sing in the alien rhythm. Their pleasure, uh, the pleasure is crystalline. Crystalline, whatever. You find yourself becoming more forceful with them, and they melt under you, obedient to your whims. What the fuck? I'm very confused. He's going to sacrifice you. Something like that. Instant transmission. <laughs> or do you mean transformation? What? Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Melt under me. Videl, getting all the box over here. You getting hot and bothered already? What's up, Birch? Welcome to the stream. Can I have a more buoyant? Eventually you drift into a deep sleep and you seem to continue your love in an otherworldly dream. Farewell. Are we gonna have a wet dream? Because that would be fucking embarrassing. And really awkward to escape the situation. In the morning, you share a few kisses and symbolic gestures. We're doing Naruto stuff. That's our symbolic gesture. And then head home. You've reached max level with Rowan. Wa na na na. We did it. Uh, I know you must return to your home soon. Crowley seems to think you can fly, but I told him you surely not. I can in an airplane. Aha, uh -huh. of course, technology also has its uses. Not that it matters, really. The important thing...
thing is that you will be far away. For a time, anyway. Our paths are forever intertwined. I hope so. I hope it is our love that binds us more than... More than wounds we take from that katana. I won't tell. Am I going to have to choose one? That's going to be upsetting. Because I like my, my menage all seven. Or whatever. I think I'm done. I fully leveled everyone. I guess we're going in here. From this point, you can only continue with the rank six weapon and you can no longer save the game. Oh. Can I... Oh, I can't save, like, a save point? That's a bummer. Oh, no! Who do we choose? I think it... Okay, it's between Valeria, Rowan, Sawyer, and Pocket. I might do Valeria. Because I like her art studio. Like, I like Rowan, but I don't think he and I vibe well, although he seems to be opening up a little bit more. Cat is just goofy. And Sawyer is precious. I love Sawyer. Alright, let's do Valeria. Then we'll see if we can do, go down the steps and do the other ones. See, I keep hearing... Jingle sounds like Mama's showing up, but I'm not seeing Mama show up. There's a Jada. Why is it so laggy? Guess he leads you into the weapon shop, whispering. There's a trap door here somewhere. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. There! He pulls out a metal ring on the floor, exposing a staircase down in the darkness. Looks like a trap. Yeah, but it's one we're setting. Come on! Jada cookies! Eat it. <laughs> she looked down before it even landed. You built all that confidence. Now it's time to use it. You've gone down plenty of stairs in the dungeon. Just take a deep breath. Jessa leads away, holding his phone in front of him as a flashlight. You take a deep breath and follow Jesse down. The air is oddly warm as it slithers around your feet. Air shouldn't slither. So this is Eric's private forge, huh? Not bad. Now what? Impatient! I guess if I was being used as bait, I would be too. I'll get warmed up for some smithing. Meanwhile, you text Eric that you're here. I'll be ready when the katana gets here. What? Why? Why can't Eric do this himself? Ugh, what? Why? It's obvious Katana has some kind of mental or emotional link with Eric. After you text him, Eric will fixate on you, and Katana will come here, I bet. At least I'm pretty sure. What do you think? You said you were ready. You bring up your phone, your finger hovers over Eric's contact info and hesitates. Why is it still in my phone? I hate this. Uh -huh. Here, no worries, I'll do it. Give me your phone for a second, I'll type it, and then block him. Nice. You hand over your phone and watch as he types, I'm here, and press the send. He hands it back to you with a nervous smile. You unconsciously wipe off his fingerprints. Thanks, cuz. You just help stop a monster. Now, I've got to get warmed up. You probably should have done that before. Jesse starts stoking the forge. You sit and watch, facing the door. Just as Jesse starts getting a good heat going, you see someone on the stairs. With a quiet rustle, Katana slips in, eyes bright. Whoa. Oh, hey there, um, Masmune. I have upgraded red. I have an upgrade ready to give you. A blood groove would make you more, um, quick, Papa. What would Eric want to be? Creepy. <laughs> I don't know, fucking... Uh -huh. Well, Masmune, you'd be so much more sexy with a blood groove. Uh huh. It's true! A groove to let the blood flow out when you stab someone is a new technology. Just come over and to the forge and I'll upgrade you. You hear another set of feet on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Go with them, my firstborn. Get your upgrade. It's for the best. Hmm. Nice. He really does have a will of his own, despite my best efforts. Hmm. You must have inherited some intellect from the metal, metal he shares with your weapons. What shared metal? My weapon? Great. A 
It's like I told you. It was wrong, but I took pieces from other weapons when I gathered materials. Hmm. Wait, so you abducted weapons and took bits from them to build this? Hmm. That's one way of putting it, but I want to fix it, really. Come on, Masamuni, don't you want to want a bit of hammering? It'll be like old times. All I want is Big Papa or death. Katana approaches you, his grin spreading. I don't like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Stab time. Ooh, ooh. Why are you fast? I can dash too. Bugs, bugs. Ah, <laughs> God, my bug army. Ouch, ouch. I pushed Elwood. Wait, did I win? What's happening to him? Or to me? Did I win? Get him, bugs. Ah! Too many arms. It feels like we're coming apart. I think I see a piece of me growing out of him. Disgusting. Yep. Step, step, step. Step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. I'm not getting through here. What is this? What the hell is happening? Eric shudders the dark energy links him to the forge and katana. What the fuck is happening? He's inherited my worst impulses. Nobody will be able to hurt him more than his own self-loathing. You have to choose your words carefully. Eric and Katana are physically linked. I don't give a shit about Eric. I can't say I blame him. I hate everything about myself too. How I look, how I talk, how I act. Why act that way then? Yeah. There's time left to improve. Eric look, looks at you with a flicker of hope. You think so? I want to believe there's a way. Somehow. Katana flinches and cries out as if you'd hurt him. I need these. No, my bugs! No, my bugs! There's a hand! There's a hand! Ouch. I need my bugs, bro. What am I doing here? I won't hold into that. I'm not doing any damage. Am I just literally surviving this while the bubbles hit them? Cool. Ow. Come on, bubbles. Yeah, I think I just... Okay. Is that all I had to do? Submit, bitch! It says G. G876. We did it. You found a plushie. Yeah! You... You did it! I did. Should I alt F4 right now and go play with someone else? I hoped, uh, I mean, feared, that he was invincible. Don't you dare try to make a better one. No more weaponsmithing. Just chill out, okay? Chill? I'm already completely empty and hollow. I can't be more chill. But it's clear to me now what I should do. What I must do. Apologize? Go to therapy, yes. Exactly. I regret so many of my choices. My relationship with weapons has been unhealthy. Were hey, he's were owning based up. On trust and intimacy? I'm okay with this. Mine were about power. Okay. Heavy. <laughs> I need to talk to a professional before I hurt anyone else. Okay. I need to learn how to love. Okay, Eric. I'm intrigued I'm now. I'm not sure it's just a skill you can learn, but... You seem sincere. Good luck. Eric nods, self-loathing cold in his face. You escort Eric out of the forge up the stairs into the street. Hmm. Goodbye, Big Papa. Or, goodbye, Big Papa, Jesse, Valeria. I hope I can earn your forgiveness someday. Uh, bye, dude. Good luck uh, getting help. Eric gives you a final bow and leaves, eyes downcast. I'm sure you're both tired. I'm exhausted and all I did was watch. It's been a long night. I could party. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I know you... You only have a couple of days left in Verona Beach, so let's make some kind of plan to celebrate tomorrow. 
After I get some sleep. You guys, he hugs you and wanders off towards his house. We did it. You and me together. We faced your fears. Plus made Verona Beach safe. Just in time for you to catch your flight home, it sounds like. <laughs> I'm a Rose of Venus. Come with me. You know, I might just do that. This town is feeling stagnant. There is a familiar muffin stench in my studio again lately. After all, but I'll need a few days to get everything packed. Who knows? Maybe a mysterious mural will show up in your hometown, huh? She pulls you into a sudden tight hug, face buried in, your, buried in your neck. Buried in your neck! I don't know. If I act weird tomorrow, just ignore me. We'll only be apart for a little while. I have to believe that. See you tomorrow, I guess. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but... Ugh, whatever. She stalks away, wiping surreptitiously at her eyes. She head home and claps into bed. In the morning, the sun rises like any other day. This is your last day in Verona Beach. You don't have much to pack. Some clothes and a few keepsakes. It only takes a few minutes. Was I supposed to get four keepsakes? Did I just miss one? It's all over. The thought of getting on an airplane makes you conflicted. You take a deep breath, feel breath, breath, feeling this moment take root inside you. Soon after you finish packing, you hear a familiar knock at the door. Hey, cuz. I have a full day planned before your flight. Give me your luggage. Let's go. Don't worry. Just don't worry about it, okay? Come on. Everyone's waiting. Put on this blindfold. Okay. He warmly jostles you out the door. You follow him downstairs and across the street. Am I going to meet Sam? Samantha? You hear a familiar crashing of the waves against the sand and reach for your blindfold. Everyone's here and we're ready to party in your honor. Oh, it's because I chose to party? Is that it? Oh, sick. Look at the animation. <laughs> it's Isaac. I don't know who you are. You're not Valeria, were you? Is that Thunder? Or are they just animated different? Okay, it is everyone. Seven. Ah, sorry, you're precious. I love you. <laughs> does, this, does this show everyone I maxed out? You spend the day swimming, chatting, and having fun together. As the sun sets, s sun starts to set, you realize your flight is going to leave soon. It's time to go. Jesse calls you taxi, and a silence falls as each of your friends considers what to say. You and Isaac share a sun-drenched kiss that ends too soon. Time always seems to fly when we're spending it together. Farewell. Be good. And I'll keep trying to be my best self, too. Huh. It was her. Valeri snuggles into you, breathing your scent in deeply and sighing. Goodbye for now. Stay safe and watch out for ducks, okay? When the summer started, I was feeling dark. It looks like alone, he's in a but diver suit. It really helped. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. I never got to meet Samantha, me. Jesse's partner. What the fuck? And hey, maybe as lucky seven, we'll have more freedom with our schedule. Story smiles shyly and can't help yourself giving them a long goodbye kiss. I'll be thinking of you every day. Look I at their uh, their shorts. Text. Bye for now. Oh, I'm sad actually. <laughs> Pocket headbutts your shin, purr roaring like a motorcycle. You give him a head pat goodbye. Ad mele ora. I don't know what that means. Rowan whispers an arcane word in your ear and you feel your blood rush with desire. Everyone smiles, though they didn't touch you. You feel as though you'd kiss deep in your bone. Dude, they've got some magical powers. You've been a great comfort to me in my time of need. Blessed be. Pretty human. Thanks, Crowley. Hey, are you okay? You can come back, you know, anytime you want. Can I just say all three of these? Thanks. 
You're so welcome, seriously. You know when you arrived here, your mom and I were really worried about you. You got so nervous you could hardly talk. You didn't seem to know how to meet people. Always afraid. Now look at you. You're the real you. I'm grateful I got to see that transformation. Thanks for all the memories, cuz. Give your mom a hug for me, okay? Sure. You get into the taxi, and as the door shuts behind you, you realize you're already making plans to return. And that was how you spent a summer on Verona Beach. I never met Samantha! I'm very upset. I did it. Oh. Oh, shit. I was pushing the... Bu I wanted to push the buttons. I thought I had to push those buttons. Whoops. It showed different buttons to push. Wait, can I do all of them? From this point, yes. <gasps> we can! Okay, uh, let's do Sawyer. Sawyer's difficult. There's a trap door here somewhere. I love Sawyer, <laughs> but the fighting style is difficult. Yeah, but it's built all that You've gone down. I wanna see if it ends or anything different. Hmm. Uh, now what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate uh -huh. this. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, intelligent. Uh -huh. Be more tactical. Uh huh. Oh, it's just different. Oh, uh -huh. okay. I actually yeah. thought it would have mattered. Hmm. I'm guessing it's just gonna have a slight difference. Like we're gonna have a like a little cutscene with like Sawyer and stuff at the end. I don't know. We we have like an hour left of stream. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Bug! 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 Fuck! Yeah, get fucked. He's like a samurai from an old movie. How do I skip? It grows two extra arms, it's gross. I see a piece of meat growing at him. Yeah. Get him! Oh my god, Sawyer. You're a beast. Alright, so this part I just think I have to live. I can't say I blame him. Uh, time left to improve. Will it? Maybe I should try the different outcomes. Or the, the different messages there to see if it changes the outcome at all. Bugs, protect me. Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Oh, those things show up, like, immediately. Fucking... Dying like an idiot. Hurry up, Bubbles! Why can't I do damage? Ah! Rolling into him like a dum-dum. Ah! Ah! Ow! Keep your hands to yourself. Creepy bug hands. Whoa, what is that symbol? It's the repost symbol. Get fucking wrecked, bro! the countdown actually what, if, what happens if i don't if i let the countdown go is it expire yeah it is a cute game i enjoy it you i hoped uh, i mean beard don't you dare try to make a better one chill uh-huh but it's clear to me uh -huh. now what i should do go to therapy well, i regret where yours were heavy i need to talk to a professor yeah good choice more people should go to therapy Hmm. Uh, bye, dude. Hmm. I can party! <laughs> See ya. We did it! We saved the world! 
Sawyer, I love you. Saved, uh, you anyway. And now you are going to go home? Do you really have to? I would say come with me, but Sawyer needs to finish their school stuff and make sure their life is in order first. I don't want to go. Then don't. I mean, I guess you have to. No place to stay. Wish my dorm had room for you. Ugh, but I hate the whole idea of saying goodbye. They crush themselves against you in a gentle hug. You fall into a kiss together and you you taste tear taste tear softer than each other. That's fucking sad, dude. That's gonna make me cry. Super friend forever. So deal with it wherever you go. They run off before you can reply. You head home and collapse into bed. In the morning, the sun rises like any other day, but this is your last day in Verona Beach. You don't have much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did this. Hey, cuz. I have a full day planned before your Just don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I thought there was a red stripe in her hair. It was the sun... Um... Beam. Also, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> Sunder was under an umbrella because it's sunny out. Time always seems to fly when we're spending it together. Be good. Oh, that was weird. It started early. Goodbye for now. When the summer starts, do they all say the same thing hey. every time? I'll be thinking of you every day. I yeah, they say the same thing. Ad meleor. You've been a great comfort. Pretty human. Ah. You know when you were out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks for all the. Okay, so nothing really changes. It's like three sentences of dialogue per person. And I don't know if there's actual like achievements because it, it sounds like there were. I was getting achievement sounds, but I don't care about okay, Microsoft achievements. But we'll let the credits out or play out this time. See, look at those buttons showing up. They look like you should be clicking them, right? But it made me skip stuff. Oh, I can click it. Oh, shit. They made a game of it. Sorry, I gotta focus. <laughs> Apparently. What's this gonna do for me? Oops, wrong button, fuck. Wrong button. Is this just to have something to do while the credits roll? Oh, they're actually kind of short. Look at all the Kickstarter backers. Holy shit, dude. They have 49 pages of Kickstarter backers. Amazing. That's awesome. Go them. They made a cute game. Well, that was Boyfriend Dungeon. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That's adorable as heck. Um, today's Thursday, so I don't know. I, I think next week we're going to be starting uh, Intergrade, uh, Final Fantasy VII Intergrade, which I have not played, and I haven't watched any gameplay on it, so it's going to be a completely fresh, like, uh, run. So I don't, uh, I don't know anything about it, except that it's uh, focused on Yuffie, and I generally don't care for that character, but I don't know, maybe they make her interesting or something. Will this work now? Nope, oh, doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Um, let's exit that. Now will it work? Nope. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's... The thing's, like... Stop working. When, uh...
I push stream. What if I restart it? What's gonna happen? Still nothing. I can't zoom in anymore. It's fucking... I can hide stuff, though. That's weird. It's like the same button. Um... That button should be working. See, I'm, I'm using the filter manually, and it works fine. But for some reason, it doesn't work when pushing. It works when it shrinks. What the fuck? Now it's working. Really? I had to go touch the filter? I'm so confused. That makes no sense. Very confused. Anyways, um, it's 10 to 9. I could just call it here and try to get some more rest. Because, uh, freaking kidney stone is killing me. Um, it's, it's fine right now. Um, or we can try to find something else uh, to look at for an hour. I don't know what we could play for an hour. I suppose we could do, like... Hades, but every time I play Hades, I end up playing it for like 20 million hours. <laughs> and I can't stop because I love that game so much. Um, but Boyfriend Dungeon was really cute. I really enjoyed that. Um, for the most part, um, I, I, the personalities were different enough to be intriguing and uh, appeal to a, a wide audience of people. So I think, uh, I think it was cute. Uh, the dungeons were pretty simple, but it was fun. Um, it was a nice uh, mishmash of ideas. Um, so I would give it a recommend. I think it's cute. Um, what do you guys think? Oh, also, so here's a thought. I have a, a question out in the Discord. Um, I need a, I need a, a button to play sound. Or play music. Well, and I'm in, like, one of these modes because, um, it would be nice. To just be like, hey, let's listen to some tunes for a minute. There we go. We'll have a little bit of tunes. It's very loud. Um, that's fine. Um, but so I have a thought. Um, I have a crap ton of magic gathering cards. And when I was first into it, um, anytime I bought packs, I would sort them all and I would catalog them. Or I wouldn't catalog them. But I would, uh... I would organize them into like little cardboard things to, for storage. Um, and my thought is um, the last couple sets and stuff I got into, I didn't really do them. I didn't put them away and stuff. Um, they're just kind of in s some of the smaller boxes. Uh, they're somewhat organized. I thought it would be cool, like maybe having a weekend stream, uh, just going through some of my old decks and cards and stuff and maybe actually cataloging them, um, playing some tunes and hanging out. Um, a couple people have already expressed interest in the Discord, saying that could be fun. Um, so if that does sound like something that you guys would be interested in, do let me know. Um, post in the Discord or whatever. Because that's an idea we can have. Um, also, we're... What, what, what position or, or position? Oh, I was just getting, Literally, I was just about to mention that the community challenge there. We're 32% raised. Birch, thank you so much for contributing. Um, for those LEGO builds. Which ones are they again? Uh, I don't remember, uh, but there's two. There's two Lego builds in that one, because, uh, they're not a huge set, but there's they're two, like, medium sets, so, uh, we can do that sometime, too. Um, also, what else is happening? Um, I haven't gotten any chance to really do any new dice stuff, because I've just been too busy and too tired. Um, but I do have all the equipment I need. Uh, replaced so I can start marking the, making those again today. The two I, sets I did recently, um, one was an already existing set and uh, it got bought on Etsy and they requested some metallic paint. So that's the dragon one. And the other one was one I casted a while ago with an idea and it, it turned out interesting enough, but uh, not as cool as I was hoping for. So, and that one was already painted. I just needed to fully sand it because it was a uh, cast in a mold that was near its end of its life cycle. So it was super cloudy. Um, and I had to fully <laughs> manually or, uh, sand and polish that whole thing, which was a bummer. Um, but besides that, I got a fish tank. 
and I am uh, building a custom 3D background with it, which is... Originally, it looked really cool. Um, I had some special carving, and then I got um, some concrete in it because styrofoam floats in water, right? Um, and so I, I poured the concrete on it, but the concrete had the pebbles in it. Um, and it looked too thick, so now it kind of looks like mud uh, going down the rocks, which I'm not the happiest with. Um, but I was like, screw it. Let's let it cure a little bit. Um, we'll pop it in the tank and we'll fill it with water a little bit just so it can leach out any of the crap that's in the, uh, the cement. And then uh, I got some cement ink colorizer tint dye, whatever. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll put some like lines in it to make it look kind of like a, a sandstone or something. Um, that's the thought, but that, that needs to show up from the mail. And, uh, we'll try that out. Maybe I'll post some pictures of that too. Um, but with the, uh, the curing or the, uh, the leaching from the cement, that's going to take a couple weeks because it has to leach out into the water. Then I have to drain the tank and I have to do it like every two or three days for a couple weeks to make sure it's not going to, you know, do anything to the fish. But that could be a fun little art project. I'm looking forward to having them fish again. Hopefully it works out well. But I'll post uh, updates in the Discord so you guys can see how that's going. Um, but other than that, it's almost 9 o'clock. I've been awake for 5 hours today. Uh, 6-ish. And uh, I think I'm going to go take a bunch of sleep pails and try to go back to sleep, maybe? <laughs> Let's see. Um, need to figure out why I'm getting kidney stones every eight months or so it's driving me nuts um let's see maybe we can go send some love somewhere do we have friends playing games we have friends playing games um i do have notifications on my phone that some people went live who's live oh me <laughs> me going live and kim going live um, we did raid Kim the other day. Um, she's playing Stray again. Uh... This one's playing Crisis Core. Or Chronicles. I've never played those. Someone's playing Phobia. You know what? I don't know if I'll actually go for a raid because I might go lay down cat <gasps> is playing bloodborne lawrence the first picture attempt yo that was the guy that kicked my ass in bloodborne okay you know what? let's go raid cat um, i don't know how i found them um but I, they're on my follow list and they seem cool and they're playing bloodborne one of my favorite games um and they're fighting the boss that kicked my ass <laughs> um, he, he was the only boss in Bloodborne that I actually had to call in for help. Um, but also, I was playing New Game Plus the first time I fought them, so take that as you will. Um, but they're fighting Lawrence, the first vicar. They're down about a quarter right now. Hey, they—they're they, they, doing the the moves when uh, you're fighting something hard and your body like naturally moves when you're fighting the game. I do that too uh, when I get into it. But uh, let's go give them uh, some good luck vibes or something. And uh, I don't know, stick around for the raid if you guys want. That would be lovely but i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me remember to spay new to your pets adopt or don't shop donate to risk if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering that is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals of rest out that are very much in need anyways i'm invasive thank you so much for letting me be a streamer tonight i heavily appreciate it and i'll catch you all next time see ya jada jada you hungry yeah you hungry let's go come on